Hi, Jacob. Hi, Dale. Oh, my dad. Take a seat. Such a beautiful morning, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, thanks for meeting her. That's all right. So this is where you live? Yeah. Caroline Springs is actually really beautiful, isn't it? It's really pretty, yeah. Yeah. So, um, are you comfortable talking out here, or did you want to go somewhere else? Do you mind if we do it in your car? In my car? Yeah. Is that alright? Uh, yeah, that's that's more than fine. Yeah, cool. Yeah. I just don't want people. Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I understand you probably know um, you're a local, so yeah. you don't want to see people. Okay, well, let's go. That's fine. <coughs> is, it, is this okay? Yeah, no, thanks. I, um, I just, a lot of people walk through here. I didn't, I didn't want um, someone I knew. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Walk past and interrupt and, yeah. you know, wonder what was going on. Yeah, that's that's okay. Uh, have you ever had counselling before? I just, I have a bit of a thing with counselling. Like, I don't... Do you? I don't like it. Oh, yeah. okay. So you've had not a, not, not a good experience in the past? <clears throat> no, not really. Okay. But I'm, um, I'm here because I can't not be. Anymore. You can't not be? Mm. Um, I, know, I know I need it. Oh, okay. All right, so something's not going right and you're, you're like, I need help now. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we can start with, um, you know, are you, tell me about your living arrangements. Who do you live with? Who, are you married? No, I'm divorced. I, um, I live with a couple of friends at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so. what's that like? Oh, it has its ups and downs. You yeah. know, like there's, there's, there's a little privacy, you know, when, when everyone's home, like you, you don't really have your house to yourself. Uh... Like when you're married, you know, you can, yeah. you have your space. Yep. Okay. All right. So what led you to, was there an incident that's occurred that made you, or is it a combination of small things? To be blunt, I attempted suicide like oh, a couple okay. of weeks ago. Oh, sorry to hear that. No. Yeah. Well. I'm glad you're okay. I mean, okay. It, didn't, it, didn't, it didn't work, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, can I ask what form, how did you try it? Uh, um, pills. So, oh, okay. A bunch of sleeping yeah. pills and various other things. Right. Do you want to... So, did somebody find you or...? Mm, well, no. I, I, it was a couple of days later that I came to, around about the time that my housemate sort of knocked on my door and and uh, to make sure I was okay, so it kind of lined up like that.
So, um, so you you'll see me writing notes, and that's just so I don't forget anything. Okay, nobody that's... nobody legally says this. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. So pills. Okay. Yep. So two days. Were you sleeping for two days? I was doing something. Mm. I wasn't dying though. Well, well, that's good. That's good to hear. Yeah. And then, did you go to the hospital? No. You didn't go to the hospital? No. I wow. Just, a bit of a sore stomach, but. Oh, okay. You know. Wow. Typical guy thing, I think. You know, right. I'll just take my health into my own hands. <laughs> right. Okay. I have gone to the doctor, which is why I'm obviously here. Okay, uh, so the doctor recommended you get counselling? Yeah, that mental health plan. Mental yes, health. mental health plan. Yeah. 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 Well, that's good. Mm, okay, so, well, I'm glad you're getting the help. Yeah, it's just if like everything's gotten to a point where I can't shoulder it anymore. Okay. All right. So I guess hi, help. Well, please. I'm glad <laughs> you're getting help, and I hope I can be a, of assistance to you. Yeah. All right. So, do you want to tell me maybe the three top things that you would consider the most problematic in your life? I look. I've never really given it much thought. I, I tend not to really pay attention to things like that. But I guess for with the life that I've led, there's a lot of unresolved um, issues from my past. Um, finance is a big thing at the moment, like right. post divorce um, and post brain surgery. Wow. Okay. Uh, financial issue and. Um, yeah, uh, workplace bullying is a, is a, is a bit of a, an issue. So there's issue. about four things here. <laughs> yeah. So you've got unresolved issues, finance, brain surgery. Yeah. And work. Well, the brain workplace. surgery was, is kind of neither here nor there. Like it had to happen and I've recovered well. Yeah, but obviously it must have been a big, big thing, a big deal. It seems to be a bigger thing for other people. Um then yeah okay she's a travel counselor okay so unresolved issues can we do you mind if we start with that one because i know that unresolved issues can really unsettle a person mm. and, and can stay with us the whole time so um is it going back to your past, to your childhood, childhood, childhood. Yeah. like yeah. there's just it's life is a roller coaster for everyone. But like, you know, parents divorced when I was eleven. Stepdad came on the scene very quickly. Um, just you know the the psychological and physical abuse, uh, oh. violence, I, I like like okay. that I saw my mum go through. Jacob, pick them up. Jacob, get back here. He didn't want to hit him. Hit him? He's turning out soft just like you, isn't he? No. He's turning out just like you. He's turning out just like you. No. All the time. No. He, he doesn't listen. You tell him. He yells. He, 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 he. Why do you want him to turn out to be like you? Me? Like
So stepdad and your father. Yeah, she went from your, da- your mum. Yeah, she went from one to the other. Wow. Okay. So both both dads. Um. Were they physically abusive towards you as well? No, no, uh, not to the extent that they were with her so or my brother. Is, it was this your whole childhood? So how how young were you when you had your first memory of of um, family violence? Well, the the verbal and the psychological stuff is always there. My mum is she's she's bipolar, and. And I don't think my dad ever really acknowledged that. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? No. The TV. The TV just talked to me. You didn't hear that? You sure you didn't hear that? No. TV's not talking to you. Have you been taking your meds? Okay. And when my stepdad came along, he took a completely different approach and kind of like it, they were both very controlling people. And right. I think he he controlled her illness in a very different way. Um, and she seemed to be good for a while, but like the the violent stuff is just it's always been there, like the yelling and the screaming and the Same. the, the yep. manipulating and all that kind of stuff. Okay. How do you how do you feel that that's affected you in your current life? Well, it's you know everyone's fear that you grow up to become your parents, and uh, I think I carried a lot of that negativity and that kind of negative personality trait into my own marriage, which I think is one of the reasons why it's resulted in the in the divorce. Right. Um, which. You know, now, like a few years on, I feel like I've, I've worked through a lot of that. Um, I've done a lot of writing and things to okay. work on that. Yep. But the, the deep-seater stuff about, like, the parents and things like that, the family stuff, I've never really let go of, I think. Yeah, it's a really hard one to let go of. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, and you may never let go of it as long as we can find a way for you to manage your memories and then how those memories make you feel. Um. Are they? Do you get a lot of flashbacks in your life, like in in everyday life? No, not not like cinema style flashbacks, where it just sort of comes upon you. you no, know, it's it's always yeah. there. Like it's just ever present. Like uh, I have a very like almost photographic memory, right. kind of like. And so yep. if if the memory's there, it's yep. like the whole scene is playing right. out. So I can okay. remember the sounds and the 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 emotions of the moment. Like often my friends tell me when I'm telling a memory of something that's like really like emotional, I, I get like, it's almost like I'm ex- exhibiting that emotion again. Yeah. So you're, you're literally back there. You're no longer in the here and now. Yeah. You're, you're well, I, I, I don't feel the emotion as I'm telling it, but I'm obviously displaying it. I don't really notice that I am. I've, yes. I've been told that I, I get quite passionate. Yeah. Oh, right. For, for lack of a better word. Okay. So do you feel that it's made you, it has it's all the, the, the flashbacks, the memories, the, the family violence, the yelling, has it affected you in your relationships and in, at work? How, how has it affected your performance in life in general? That's a, that's a very broad question. I, I, I don't, I don't really know how to answer that. Okay. Um, there's there's aspects of of my parents th- that I know I've carried through and it's it's the psychological things I think but there's like things like physical violence that I've never like it's abhorrent to me so yeah. I never sort of I've never come across the the desire to sort of ex- explore that yeah so you you don't get so you when you're angry mm. how do you handle anger oh, um, verbal outbursts Yeah, hey, when you were home earlier, did you you make sure you shut the back door? Yeah, no, because your cats are gone. I don't know how many times I've had to tell you to shut the... No, don't take that attitude with me. No, look, hey, listen, I'm sick to death 
of the way that you just completely shirk this kind of shit with your cats, okay? I didn't even friggin' want them. You're the one that kept insisting that, hey, shut up. Don't you dare talk to me like that. You better think about whether you actually want to come home tonight because I'm absolutely sick to death of this shit. It's not gonna happen again. I'm look, you're not even gonna be home for hours. I have to walk around and actually look for your friggin' cats now. This is bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, you... Yeah, you better freaking think about it, huh? Yeah. She's a travel counselor. When someone is yelling at me, I clam up. I I, I completely freeze. Right. I, I can't. So you take you go into freeze mode. Yeah. Especially if they're bigger than me in any particular way, because I'm not exactly the biggest person. Um, yeah. So if they're taller yeah. or if they're larger than me as a person, I, I can't deal because yeah. my stepdad was larger. My um, my boss is is bigger than me and 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 is very uh, verbal. Yeah. And so, like a lot of the stuff that's happening at work is is kind of taking me through that as well. Like it's it's just like being a teenager again. <laughs> Just remember to do your back exercises once a day oh, for the well, rest of the week. Thank you. I feel great. Pleasure. Thank you so much. I'll see you next week. Thank you. Jacob. Hey. How are you, mate? Yeah, good. You? Yeah. Uh, just been on the phone with Dad. Yeah. And he's telling me uh, not pulling numbers, mate. It's not good enough to pull. What do you mean? The quote has gone up to 15. Like, I've already done 10 today, like my body is killing me. It doesn't matter mate, you're just a number at the end of the day. We'll get another masseuse soon. Alright, I'll do what I can. So is it basically the workplace bullying that's brought you to this moment of getting the help? So that, because you've you've obviously taken me to the moment of doing what yeah. I did, and I guess coming here, yeah. Okay, so because unresolved issues, that's probably happened your whole life. Finances, or has that? How long have you had the finance issues? Oh, the last three or four years since since the divorce, and like the the brain surgery came pretty pretty quick after that. So okay. I wasn't working for a while. So the workplace bullying has been the breaking point. It's just yeah, it's the the straw. Camel's back, you know yeah, that analogy. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's just it was too yeah. much. It's just too much to carry now. Yeah. Can I just ask, when you were younger mm. and you used to see your parents fighting and arguing, how mm. did you cope with it? I just, I, I, most of the time, I'd make, I'd take myself into another room. Like they'd obviously fight in front of my brother and I, but like, yeah, I would just try to get out of there. <laughs> Right, okay. So you'd re remove yourself from the situation. Yeah. Why do you say to the nurse that I hit you? It's I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. Walk into the door and no, make up some excuses. They showed so they you didn't out. have to tell her. But it doesn't matter. It's not my fault. It's your fault. Why is it's it my fault? fault. It's you're taking who? these tablets. No, it's, it's your, your fault. Your fault who, who he is. No, he your is fault. It's so, so much fault. like you. So much like you. He didn't take the pills because of me. Because of who you are. You're a piece of trash. Yeah. Okay. So in counselling sessions, mm. what would you like to get out of it? What would you like to mainly work on? I guess I'd like to figure out how to not explode, I guess, okay. when I'm getting, when I'm frustrated or when I'm having an altercation with someone yeah and um i don't know i'm i'm here because of everything piling up so you know it's all kind of interconnected i don't know what i guess after talking of it you'll yeah you'll find something yeah. we can work on we'll but the anger things. is probably a big thing okay so main so the anger okay all right so um, well, we'll make another appointment and we'll see what we can start focusing on for next session. Oh, cool. And is this arrangement okay in the car? 
is that all right with you? Yeah, it's more than fine with me. Cool. I don't mind. I'm very flexible. We can go to coffee shops. We can sit in a park. We can sit in the car. It's, okay. it's all good for me. Yeah. Um, it was really nice to meet you. Thanks. Yeah. Um, it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. Oh, good. That's good to hear. Yeah, um, yeah. That's what a lot of people say. You know, counselling does seem a bit scary and a bit overwhelming at the start, but. You know, and finding the right counsellor is like finding the right clothes that fit you. <laughs> you know, so well, I mean, if is, we can work on have... my fashion, it'll be good too. <laughs> but <laughs> basically, you, you have to feel comfortable with the counsellor. So if you don't feel comfortable with me, you keep shopping around for a counsellor until you feel you find a person that you can talk to. All right. All right. Okay. Cool. I'll see you next so time. So I'll give you a call and we'll make an appointment. Okay. Bye. Bye.